Hey guys, welcome to this impromptu unboxing of the new Apple TV. So I wasn't actually expecting this to arrive until tomorrow, but for some weird reason here at 6.30 at night, UPS delivered it. So let's, let's make sure that this is actually the Apple TV and not just some other thing. Whoa. Okay, good. Yes, that would have been awkward. So, don't need that. This is what I've been waiting for. So, as per the trend set by the iPhone 6S unboxing, I will now struggle to unwrap the plastic without scissors. Yes. I've done it. Yes. Alrighty. Right. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. So. Now, the most important part. Let's take the lid off. Quickly, before we look at the actual Apple TV, let's talk about the lid of the box. Now, let's just do it. There it is. The Apple TV. Very nice. And the Siri remote. Whoa. It's so sleek. Right, let's set that down right over there. Now let's look at what we have in the box. Whoa, look at that. We have some stuff. And what do we have here? Oh, we have some other stuff. That's enough of that. Right, now this. Haha, <laughs> this is much better. We will now take the plastic off. Here we go. See, this is much better than looking through the, oh, whoops, than looking through the contents of that box. Ooh, that was very fun. It's so pretty. So for comparison's sake, let's put the Siri remote over here. Here we have the new Apple TV, and over here we have my old second generation Apple TV. Now obviously this is a lot more smudged than, than kind of just nasty. But that's that that's okay. For comparison's sake, let's let's just look for I think only the second time in Apple's history. Whoa, it's rolling away. History, whoa, it's rolling away. Actually made something fatter. This is very, very unapple, but you understand why as soon as we take a look at this in the in-depth review I'll be posting tomorrow. So, there is more plastic on this thing. Let's take it off. Ready? You ready, 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 ready? Ooh. Look at that. It even has an Apple logo in the plastic. Why? I don't know, but it's very cool. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put it on my wall. Right, now. Oh, there's more plastic. More. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! Let's take a look at the ports of this thing. Oh, no, I'm smudging it. Right, so along the back... We have some new and unusual things. We have our, our power port as usual, our ethernet and our HDMI, that's all the same as on the second generation. But you'll notice we're missing some things. We're missing our mini USB replaced with USB type C. We're also missing our optical audio. So that's a thing that happened. Let's take a look at the Siri remote. Oh boy, we have some more plastic to take off. That's gonna be fun. Ooh. Wee, here we go. Oh. Oh ha. Oh ha. -ha. So, this obviously looks really, really good. It looks so much better than the old generation Apple TV remote. I would show you mine, but I lost it, I think, two and a half years ago, so. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. This touchpad surface is really smooth and... Ooh, it's so clicky. It's so clicky, I could just click this all day. Right, so... Siri button, volume up and down, play and pause, menu, and then a button with a TV on it. Not sure quite what that does yet. You can see we also have this lovely glass surface which is going to be smudged so fast you can't even imagine and this lovely touchpad, which is also glass and very clicky. The back is aluminum. We only have our microphone port up here. Some FCC regulations at the bottom, which I thought they no longer had to have, but apparently they do. 
but it's such a comfortable remote. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm in love. Right, so let's take a look at this little thing that we have. Hey, Apple stickers, that's fun. So that's not really unusual. Apple TV info, who cares? Let's see, what's, what's this? Oh, this is new. Whoa, this is really simple and pretty. S touch surface, home, we have some new instructional things. New instruction for our Siri controls. And a diagram of the ports as per Apple style. Here's our lightning plug. This is what we're gonna use to charge our Siri remote. Yes, it does need to be charged, but hey, wait, I could use this to charge my iPhone. Ooh, that's fun. All right, here we have the charger, which looks exactly the same as, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Looks exactly the same as previous generation chargers, that's for plugging into the Apple TV. And that's all we get in the box. Not really as interested in those. All right, guys, so make sure to check back on Friday when I will be giving you a full review of the Apple TV with Siri remote. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Luke Miani. Share with all of your friends. Leave a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Oh, I made it through the whole thing. Yeah.